Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Sarah and in this video I'll be explaining which is the best display interface, HDMI or DisplayPort. HDMI is normally the first port to call for many. It allows high speed transfer of both audio and video from a source device to a display and it is everywhere. The DisplayPort often named the gamer's input and it actually outperforms the HDMI. However, manufacturing still opt for HDMI, which still outputs in high definition. Although you will spot display ports on the largest graphics cards hardware, alongside some Macs and laptops marketed towards gamers and business owners. First off though, an important element to understand is bandwidth and how it affects your viewing experience. Bandwidth is the amount of data that a particular standard can transfer from one source to another, usually measured in seconds. There are three main areas that make up display bandwidth, colour depth, maximum number of pixels and refresh rate. Let's take a closer look at the bandwidth capabilities for each revision of both HDMI and DisplayPort. HDMI 2.1 is capable of supporting bit rates up to an impressive 48 gigabytes. In contrast, DisplayPort 2.0 offers up to 80 gigabytes, equating to 4K at 240 hertz. There are a number of high-performing gaming monitors available right now that do utilize a lot of bandwidth. 4K at 144Hz with 10-bit colour, for example. This type of panel alone would require the need of Evo DisplayPort 2.0 or HDMI 2.1. Also, the arrival of 8K TVs and capable GPUs, the latest interface standard is required to push this resolution with at least 30Hz refresh rate. Ultimately, the DisplayPort is the gamer's choice when it comes to input options. At present, present DisplayPort 1.4 is the most commonly used and readily available version of that particular standard. Nvidia's 30 series and AMD's big Navi launches both have the DisplayPort 1.4 variant, allowing for transfers of 8K at 60Hz with DPC more than enough for today's standards. There are some fairly obvious advantages to be gained from using DisplayPort over the current HDMI standard. Alongside its long-standing relationship with FreeSync and G-Sync. Display ports also offer much more robust connection when compared to HDMI. At the base of the connector, the display port has two prongs that enable it to lock into place, requiring a button to be pressed upon release. HDMI real-world usage has put them on a level playing field with 24-bit color at 4K 60Hz being supported by HDMI 2.0 since 2000. 2013. AMD GPU owners will also be pleased to hear that HDMI has supported VRR via an AMD extension since 2.0b. That being said, only now at HDMI 2.0 are we seeing VRR being part of the official standard. The main benefits of utilizing HDMI's connection comes down to its versatility. TVs, Blu-ray players and all other kinds of customers' electronics now now offer multiple HDMI inputs. TV manufacturers are already starting to roll out HDMI 2.1 for the upcoming change with LG having a HDMI 2.1 OLED TV on the market since 2019. There isn't much difference between these two. They both offer very good visual experience with high resolution, color depth, and refresh rate being supported. That being said, DisplayPoint 1.4 is still considered the better standard as of right now. It offers multiple display compatibilities on a single cable, alongside better bandwidth, support for high resolutions, and refresh rates. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please let us know down in the comments which of these two interfaces you prefer. Please give us a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell while you're down there. Also, if you look over here, there's going to be a video that we know you'll enjoy. Thanks again.